Do you feel like you spend way too much time on social media and you want to get more done, overcome procrastination and feel more happy and alive in your life? Well, the average person, according to Forbes, is now spending seven hours a day consuming content. Seven hours a day. So don't think you're alone. Many people are struggling with being addicted to their phone. But the first step to change something about it is to accept reality, to see it as it is, because if you deny it, you have no power to change it. And don't think that you could overcome your desire to check social media just with willpower alone. We don't even realize how many times we're checking our phones. It's not in the dozens of times. We are checking our phones hundreds and thousands of times every single day. So we need a system, a method that allows us to be more productive and live a happy, joyful life. First, you got to set up your environment. Your environment is the invisible force controlling your entire life. And either you control your environment or your environment controls you. So here's what you could do. Create as much tension as possible between you and your phone. For example, when you're working or when you're studying, put it in another room. The simple act of having to go five to 10 seconds to go get your phone is as much tension as needed to reduce the amounts of you checking your phone by like 90%. Because most often we check our phones because we're bored or because we want to avoid something. And I did an entire video, I'll link that up at the end of this video on why you check your phone. But basically, you have to remove those triggers by putting it in another room. When it's away from you and you don't need it to work most often, don't fool yourself, don't make this an excuse. Well, it makes it so much easier for you to be focused and be present in the moment. So what I do, I try to put my phone away. On the days in which I don't have my phone nearby and I have it in my kitchen, I'm so much more productive. So set up your environment for minimum distraction. And what you could also do is you could limit the apps in your browser, on your PC computer. There's a app called Freedom that literally blocks all of your browsers. Secondly, and this is huge, you need to create necessity. You need to create necessity because otherwise you get distracted by other things. I mean, there are so many things to do in the household. Maybe you have to cook, maybe you have to clean up. Maybe you want to read something. Distractions are everywhere. So you need to get clear on why do I need to make progress right now? Why does it matter? And the best thing I found so far is to create boundaries. You have to determine when do I start working and when do I stop working? Because that gives you urgency. That gives you necessity. For example, I start work at 8 a.m. and I end work at 3.30 p.m. when I get to pick up my daughter from the kindergarten. That is scheduled in, that is baked in at 3.30 p.m. I am out. Now that gives me a reason to be productive because if I don't get anything done until 3.30 p.m., I don't have any more time. It's over. So set some boundaries and then get clear on why do you need to make progress? Because those boundaries alone don't matter if A, you don't hold them, you don't enforce them, so schedule something afterwards, ideally with someone else. Or B, you don't really care about your work. I mean, I could tell you set boundaries and set up your environment, but if you don't really care about getting things done, if you don't know why it matters, you can do all of those things and still waste your time. You can do everything right, but if you don't know why you're doing it, it won't make a difference. So why do you need to be productive? Why is it important for you to study? Why is it important for you to give that presentation? Why is it important for you to make that sales call? And then third, key. You want to 
get rid of the apps or limit them or limit your exposure to the apps on your phone. For example, I only have two social media apps on my phone. That's Instagram and that's YouTube. And I don't put them front and center of my phone. They're somewhere hidden. So don't put them on the home page. Make them somewhere hidden in a folder or so where you really have to search for it, where you really have to put extra effort into finding them, opening them. And then also you have to have notifications turned off. They are disregarding your time. So turn off notifications. I recommend you turn off notifications for every app. No notification is so important that you need to check it right now. No notification is so important that you need to check it right now. And you can set it up that the most important people in your life can still call through. So if your spouse calls you or your kids call you, yeah, they get through, but nobody else does. And then be okay with missing out. Be okay with taking longer to respond. Oftentimes we feel this urge, I need to respond to a message immediately. No, you don't. We put so much pressure on ourselves to respond immediately, to be always informed, but FOMO is really destroying your productivity. So allow yourself to miss out. For example, for a longer time, I was actually missing when I wasn't seeing ads on Instagram because I felt like, oh, maybe I missed this new software. Maybe I missed this new tool that I could use in my business. Now I feel like, who cares? I've got everything I need to be productive. Who cares? So stop caring so much about what you're going to miss or what other people are going to think about you. And that's going to serve you so tremendously. I know I could just talk about, well, delete the apps and do all of that, but we need to talk about the mindset because that's what's messing us up. And then the last tip here I have for you. I want you to set specific times for when you're going to check your phone. For a while, I had on my phone a sticker that said only three times a day only three times a day and I had to pull up that sticker so I could literally see what was on my phone. Now this was a great way for me to check my phone less often. Now over time I've just trained myself to disregard my phone most often but at first I recommend you set a boundary for how much you want to use your phone. Either you say I just want to use it an hour a day I want to pick it up three times a day. Whatever you need to do. We pick up our phone so often when it's really unnecessary. It's really enough to check your phone once a day, to respond to messages, check your emails. That's totally fine. That's totally enough. So set some boundaries. Determine how much is okay. And then measure when you're overdoing it when you're going over that boundary. This is so important. And if you really struggle with getting over your addiction to social media, then I highly recommend doing a dopamine detox, where you're literally deleting the apps for 30 days. And then after 30 days, you have a clear mind. You can really see, okay, is this app really worth it? Do I need Instagram? Do I need YouTube? Do I need Twitter? Do I need Pinterest? And how much do I need it? Would it be okay to just check it on my computer? Would that be fine? In most cases it is. And that puts more friction, more tension between you and the app. And it's going to give you so much more freedom with your time, with your energy, with your focus. And those are one of your primary assets to really produce at the highest levels. And if you like this video, then you'll love this video on why you can't stop checking your phone. And I'll see you in the next one.